The golden visa here in Dubai and the UAE has attracted hundreds of thousands of investors to the country, buying real estate, depositing in the bank, creating companies, overall bringing the economy to a new high. Unfortunately, a lot of bad actors have used shady practices to get the golden visa, the 10 year permit, and it doesn't contribute anything to the society and the economy here in the UAE. The UAE is even thinking of getting rid of the golden visa, or increasing the prices or tightening the rules because what people are doing now it's let's say you have a group of six investors they all want to get the golden visa the total price of the golden visa by property is five hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more two million dirham let's say you buy a property among six people for six hundred thousand dollars all those people each put a hundred thousand dollars the first person buys the property for $600,000 in the Dubai Marina, for example. Then they transfer the ownership after receiving the golden visa. They apply with the title deed with the ownership. They get the golden visa. Then they transfer that property to the second person. That second person now applies for the golden visa with the title deed with the ownership. The first person already got it. Now the second person has it. Once the second person has it, they transfer it over to the third person. The third person gets the golden visa with the title deed and the ownership and so on, the fourth person, fifth person, sixth person. And when it arrives at the sixth person with the title deed and the ownership, that person sells the property, maybe at a higher price than what they bought it at. Everybody cashes out their 100,000 and now they all have their golden visas plus zero investment into the economy, into real estate, into the country. And you have six people, none of them invested, the 2 million dirham, the $550,000, none of them did the process properly. They all basically defrauded the immigration system and they're doing it at a massive scale. Many people are doing this all over Dubai and all over the UAE and the UAE government knows this. They know that the shady practice is going on and they're trying to tighten the rules. Maybe they will increase the prices again. Maybe they will make that you can only get the golden visa if you have the property for a certain amount of time. Because right now you get the property and you can immediately qualify for the golden visa and you immediately get approved for the golden visa and you can sell the property the next day you get the golden visa. Maybe they will change the rule. You need to buy the property and you need to keep it for at least one two years so this practice doesn't keep going. If you're interested in getting the golden visa, whether that's by buying property, by investing, you could invest $2 million into your own company, into your own bank account. And you could also get the golden visa that way, but you need to keep that money in the bank account for a number of years. I would suggest doing it now. Next year in 2023, we have many changes to Dubai and the UAE. Thousands of ultra high net worth individuals are coming and the UAE, they're going to tighten the rules on tax. They're not going to make it a wild west. They're gonna have some rules. They're gonna have auditing. They're gonna have tax on mainland companies, companies selling here in Dubai. And they're also going to tighten up the golden visa. So these practices don't continue and essentially defraud the economy here. What do you think about these practices that I mentioned? Should they be allowed because it's just a loophole and a legal way to get the golden visa for many people? Or should they tighten the rules and make it harder for people to get it? Comment your views down below. If you're interested in getting the 10 year golden visa, but not through real estate, you can also start your own company, as I mentioned, invest into the company, put money in the bank, that $550,000, keep it there for a number of years. Those rules won't change because it needs to be your own money. You need to be in the documents of the company. It needs to be a bank account under your name. And you're actually going to have that money for a certain amount of time. So the bank can guarantee that deposit and the government can talk to the bank and confirm that deposit. And then you get your golden visa. That route, I see it as being much less scrutinized in the future because there's a lot more ways to confirm and guarantee that you are actually making the investment. If you want to get the prestigious golden visa and you want to do it before the rules change, check out this video right here on the step-by-step -step process of getting the golden visa and everything you need to know about getting it in the UAE right here.